Do me lang, fam bam. Le guy. Why aren't you doing it with more enthusiasm than that, babe? What do you mean? That's not how you say it. Do me lang, fam bam. Le guy. <laughs> Pam pam, I'm not using her. Why? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm not. I cannot enthuse. King enthuse. Enthuse. Gaston King. Aye, it's why I don't know. Enthuse. Gaston King. Aye, it's. Mara, let's go. 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 let us go let us go let us go challenge us go let us go let us challenge let us go 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 let Oh, oh, I guess I don't know. I guess I guess. Can't stress it. All right. Eh, now we're going to have to go at one copy bill. Let's have it. Copy bill is on. Copy bill is yes, go. Yes, yes, go. I'm going to 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 go. What on say sagabat? What's the game? Eh, we're going to do what on say sagabat. What on say sagalon? Hmm. Can't have it on say sagal. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. But yeah. Bos hello tsang. Fempem na lo ntsa ke tsang ano. Life ka tsaka. Nke re dise wa tsaisa. O swe. Re kopa mafoko a tswa kopi bele tu. Babe, e tswa ga. Are babe. Muratua. So o tsang tsa hore hore muratua. Kopa le mbutseng hore tsa ga muratua. Eh, bua he. E tswa ti re ti. This is from Psalms 121. Sorry, I just got to switch back to English here. Hear that English just came in from records. Like, it comes from Psalm 121. I love it. Babe, go for it. Okay, verse of the day. We're going back to English. Yeah? This is it. What did you say? Why is this is it? Because it's your verse of the day. Babe, okay, read. You, you said, read? okay, Psalm 121 says that the Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go, both now and forever. Ooh. Yeah, the Lord shall watch over you um, no matter what you're doing, especially during these times when it's just so rife out there with this pandemic that we're in. God is watching over you. He promises to take care of us. He promises not to uh, let us be harmed. So you're, you're, in, you're coming in and you're going out, whether you're, you're leaving your home or you need to return from wherever you are from. God will watch over you, hey? Amen. And it's not just from a pandemic. It's just from all evil, from all harm, from any calamity, any disaster that could just occur over your life. Just place your trust in Him. All the time. All right. So, fam, that was us speaking a little bit of our home language because, like we said earlier, if you didn't understand us, I know there were some titles for you. Um, but one of you fam bammers were asking about why don't of, we listen to Dizzy's tone of English. He's so <laughs> now posh and huh? Listen to you. Why are you so yet hobo as for now? So I don't bore you know. No, no. So who told me? Who told me? Anyway, as I go back to my English, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Radio present. Hmm? What? Why is she disturbing me? So yeah. Bam bam. Um, yeah, we're just going into our mother tongue just for a few, just so that you guys can believe that we we do have a mother tongue. We we can speak the mother tongue. It's just we we kind of keep it neutral here on on the tube. Of course. For everybody. For so everybody to be able to hear. Us. To hear us because you know it's not just everyone from here Gomzanzi. You know, it's, we've got people out there. You know that are watching. So we need to cater for all. I guess. Yes, thank yeah. you, Bam Bam, all over the world. All over the world, we love you. We love get... you, we love everybody, everybody. Yeah, just to fill you guys in, Rahul's making some good meal for moi. You it's guys can favorite. see that, it's, it's my favorite. It's his favorite meal, literally. Ooh, Stuffed yeah. chicken. Mm. Stuffed chicken, guys. I love it, guys. I love it so much. With um, spinach and feta and... What is it? What else? Little mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Today I'm actually adding a little bit of blue cheese because that's Lisa's favorite cheese. And then, mm -hmm. um, yeah, a lot of spices. A lot of spices. Yeah. 
Cool. That's the meal. No, That's but actually, actually, guys, I'm actually trying a new recipe as well. Um, from one of the Kno books that I have, I'm gonna show you just now. Let me just wash my hands. Stand by. All right, as she washes her hands. So yeah, guys, we're just trying to accommodate everybody around the world. That's just us. Uh, but if nifuna guti tina se kuli misi zulu, ah se ngai kulu mangeti se swab. Hmm. For the Zulu speaking people, se kon. Yeah. As in it. Yeah. As we reho es ngati. I see is Zulu. No, I see Zulu. 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 I see I because, <laughs> yeah, Zama, guys. Yeah, Zama, so I'm, I know. I literally talk Zulu with you say like on a not on a daily basis. There are no ways. I've been practicing, so yeah. Yeah, I've been teaching her. You so definitely long. won't be able to whisper. Well, I mean, not whisper. Um, when? talk in secret. Yeah. You know. Around us. Yeah. You won't, you won't be able to sever me. Sever. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, English is is running away from our wife. Away. This wonderful day. Uh, but hope you guys are good, fam. Um, today we have a lovely topic. We just want to chat with you guys. We want to string you guys in, rope you guys in. Um, yeah, just just get chatting about some awkward moments that we've had. Um, I know I've had some awkward moments out there that I just need to ask Rekhu about. I need her counsel, but we also need your counsel because she's also had some random awkward moments that have made me kind of like, oh, okay, I wonder if I was there what I would have done or said. Um, but yeah, we, we will chat with you guys. Rehu's bringing the book that she was talking about now. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually really always trying new recipes. I love trying new recipes. You always. And we were on a campaign with Kno, and I'm so happy that we were, we got, we received this book. Um, it's yeah. a cookbook by Kno, and really has this plant-based foods, you know, Future 50 Foods. Uh, this is not an ad, guys, please. This is not an ad. I'm just, I'm just letting you know mm -hmm. so yeah. that, you know, if you want to live a healthier life or basically have healthier recipes, this is actually amazing. I've tried this recipe itself. It was delicious. The problem is that it didn't look, <laughs> you know, aesthetically nice, so I didn't... Um, baby Zhang, take pictures. I did take pictures. Okay. I am still continuing with the Baby Zhang foodie fridays on instagram so i'm you'll see those videos there so today i'm trying out the lentil and veggie medley yeah. Yeah, and to... then um yeah this is this what is i'm trying to do to look like. so it's a nice little salad like with a lot of ingredients the feature food here is the green lentils and the water crease but i didn't get the water crease so that's why um but i got almost all the ingredients they must i do the dishes for you yeah of course okay as well as this was of gifted course. to me uh for my wedding this was one of my wedding gifts for my aunt uh she got me the lazy magoti and so what i'm gonna try from her which i've always wanted to try guys yeah. is the butternut soup i know it sounds like a lot of food but this eats a lot guys Woo, there goes all my recipes uh, so it's the butternut soup, which is right over here. Mm -hmm. I've got butternut that I want to use. So yeah, I'll, I'll be away for a couple of days. So I need to make sure that I cook up a storm so that my husband of gets course. food. Yes. This is what happens when yeah. you travel a lot and my husband doesn't take care of your plants. He doesn't eat good Look, food. Gonna... So I have to make sure that I provide for him really? before I leave. Yes, guys, my plants are dying. Oh, really? My plants are dying, fam. They are dying. Really? I have, I have three beautiful plants. She's going to say got this to you guys. Mm. There, and I've got a beautiful uh, lily flower from my friend Mwadua who bought me for my birthday. And I tell you, Nay, it's dying because of this brother of yours is not taking care of my plants and my flowers. He bought me beautiful flowers now. He bought me beautiful, gorgeous flowers. You'll see them soon. But if I'm leaving now. When I come back, he won't take care of them. I actually don't know what to say to you guys right now, fam. I know you guys say. are looking at me thinking, Lise, what kind of a husband are you? Like, really, you just leave the house to be a mess. Healthy. I don't need healthy. She's just she's selling me out. But she knows that I'm I'm doing the best that I can, you know. Um, this is why I need her. This is why I married her, you know. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, but you need I'm to nothing. take care of yourself. I'm nothing without her, you know. I mean, 
But you need to take care of yourself when I'm I do, here. I do, babe. I do. I do take care of myself. And she knows it, guys. Um, I just feel so bad right now. Yo. My plants are dying, guys. You know what? Speaking of plants, let me go water them, huh? Go water my plants, too. Uh, let me go. Please go fix them. Let's go, go fix them. Let's go water the plants, huh? Let's just go. Fam, so. <laughs> my love here, he's trying to save right. my plant. No, but he's trying. No, can we I've please look at this? Most. Can we just, can we please what? just look at my plant? It's dying. Yeah, like, because it's you're dying. not taking care of it. My babies no, are dying. Me. Don't blame yeah. me. Ooh. Exactly. Drop the camera while you're there. Exactly. Okay, I've okay. poured it. Is that like, enough? My babies are dying. If you can see, these are my babies. We've got like things on them. This one has like these little white stuff on them. So this one's saying, hurry, this guy right here. This guy. You are. I'm what? I'm killing my plants. My babies. Look at this. How am I killing them? But for you're not taking flowers. care of them, now you're blaming me. Look, what happened? Yeah. Um, this is on you though. Yeah. Morato, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. So, Mrs. Quena, it's yeah. up. It's, it's your friend. It's friend. It's not taking care of How much water must I pour on this one? Yeah, I'm still a little bit. Is that enough or a little bit more? A little bit more because it drinks. This plant really drinks a lot of water. Okay. Right guys, those were the plants. I'm done. I hope Rahul will be satisfied with what I did. Um, and stop shouting at me, maybe. As long as you do the right thing, Mano, I will not have a reason to shout at you. Rahul always finds a reason. Like, I don't know. You, you always want to find something wrong. She never finds something good. Give me a little Don't bit, lie. Give, don't give, lie. Me, give me a little praise. Don't something. lie. No? I gave you a whole lot of good loving this weekend. <laughs> okay so i found something like, very good like we don't give good loving every other weekend <laughs> and every other day hey bro, really seriously now i gotta wash dishes hey but guys you see get married they said it will be fun it will be fun trust me so i'm gonna have a bulldog you guys know i love bulldog so if it's not has, stony i know you like haven't you ever mentioned to them that I love bulldog? No. I love bulldog, guys. If it's not stony, it's bulldog. If it's not bulldog, it's chocolate. And if it's not chocolate? In fact, above all those things, what do you like the most? Food. <laughs> I love food. I think you're supposed to say me. <laughs> no, I was supposed to say God. No, you love God. You know that. That's an obvious. That's a given. But anyway, my point is that. Because my husband loves me, <laughs> he won this bulldog um, from the bulldog shopping. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. And they got me a mug, by the way, guys. They got me a mug, which I don't know if you guys can see that. It says, Dad. It says, Dad, the man, the myth, the legend. The legend. Um, I'm not a dad. Yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. But anyway, to move on. Yeah, this is where we got the bulldog from. Do you say? was you know what oh he was doing online church for father's day service and he they said he must ask a question and i asked the best question about fatherhood mm. Mm. and he won and i won it he won also chocolate he won which she took everything she took i won she took it she mm -mm. Took you know what he said because i was away at that time he's like babe i won built on for you baby so i'm gonna eat everything else that's in the bucket the but love, anyway the love i have for you Anyway, guys, so basically what we wanted to discuss was that, you know, the awkward moment when people are trying to hit on you, because um, I had that incident basically yesterday. I was, I dropped off DC at gym, um, and because I, I had to quickly run errands while he's going into gym. So when I came back to pick him up, um, I parked in the shaded area, which is, you know, in another section. But then, okay, I see that there's a car next to me and there was a guy um, who was in the car. So fine, I actually stepped out of the car because I needed to go get um, some snacks in the car because I was so hungry. So what had happened was, fine, I get back inside the car, I'm having my snacks. Babe calls me to tell me if I'm, if I'm outside, I tell him that I'm outside. As soon as I drop the call, I looked outside and I see the guy who was next door going out and he walks out. But he's going towards the entrance. How? I look down on my phone. Sninning, this guy is here on the side of my 
my window and i'm just like okay dude and basically he's like asking me Jorge, can i be his gym partner he doesn't have a gym partner <laughs> what a stupid question <laughs> what a stupid at that and moment that's a stupid pickup line now you gotta agree fam like seriously mm -hmm. who asks such eh? would you be my gym partner like really seriously yeah so um but basically i wanted to so do you say it like comes like a few seconds after this guy so i say obviously no i'm like no dude you know no just like a simple no that's it and then shame he walks away you know at the same time you feel sorry for the person because you're like this guy's trying to catch a girl but at the same time it's like but like you know oh the chicken the chicken's ready mm. okay Ooh, the steam but i'll check it out just now but now so this comes a few seconds after and i asked him i'm like babe what do you think i should have done in that situation like because he literally missed that interaction like by a few seconds yeah and i mean i guess i want to throw it at fan bam first before i reply because being the man that i am obviously i'm going to be protective over what's mine you know uh i i didn't i didn't work hard for this you know i didn't pay them cows i didn't I didn't have to work a whole... How, how long did I work on you? Just since high school, guys. So you can only imagine. Like, no, this is my pride and possession. Not since high school. Not since Babe. high school. Don't like that. We're going to have this conversation again where she doesn't believe that. I'd rather hit on her in high school, guys. And that's the simple truth. And we're not going to go back to that story anyway. of her rejecting me. Now. But anyway, the question is, how should I have reacted, guys? And how should one react when my wife is being hit on? Obviously, don't take it so nice. Um, it is a compliment to an extent. I get it. You're beautiful. She's gorgeous. Obviously, some men find her attractive as well. So, they'll try their luck. Um, it's just... I don't know how to react. And the thing is, it's good that I wasn't there to witness everything happening. Because I don't know what would have happened, fam. I mean, what do I do? What should I do, babe? What, what would you expect me to do? As, I would have expected would you expect to be like, I'm fit. I'm fit. When's that? When's that? Hey? What do you, how do you say? Kimutak. Muntoam, look. Muntoam. That's what I was expecting. When's that? Maybe. maybe when's that? I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a mean guy. I'm a nice guy. Um, I'm, I'm too nice, maybe sometimes. He's too nice. I'm too nice. So really nice. I probably would have been the nice guy who would have greeted the guy and asked what was he doing? Uh, what did he need help? Was he lost? Um, maybe would have asked my wife to. And I would have leaned into the car by the driver's um, driver's um, door because that's where he was standing apparently, ne? And I would yeah. have leaned in for a kiss, you know, like in front of the guy. I born or come You know what I mean? I was gonna, I was gonna grab my wife right, right there. So that's what I would have done. And I don't know, fam. Is what should I have done? What do you think? I don't know. Basically, fam, is like in those situations, what do you do uh, when you know that you have somebody and somebody tries to hit on you? Like, what is your initial reaction to that? Um, does your partner intervene? Uh, are they did. there? Uh, yeah, if they're there, do they intervene? Do they? Uh, what is the appropriate yeah, manner? Up, because yeah, sometimes you try to be sweet and to try to be, you know, calm and be like, no, you know what? No, do you mention that you're married? I mean, like, the guy that would ignore the fact that you're wearing a ring so they don't care so the fact the the male fan members of yeah the fam, the male fan members yeah. you know what what do you guys do in that situation are you in a relationship are you not in a relationship and what do you do when you are encountering such situations are you the type of guy to you know to shoot your shot i mean we do understand that some people are not married are not there yet or are not in relationships do you care that somebody is in a relationship and you'll still shoot your shot or not that's the question mm -hmm. that is the question is the ring really a stop nonsense that is my question mm -hmm. all right it doesn't matter so yeah that's my question but anyway fam i should be taking out my my chicken now let me show you let me show you my chicken but let me put all these things away first so wait, are you done with yeah baby don't let me you just wait i'm gonna, gonna yeah i'm gonna put it away don't worry i want to show woo, i want to show fam i want to show fam the chicken oh sorry <laughs> this thing just got fucked up 
Oh, well, that, that just sounded <laughs> Okay, let me wipe it. What's your language, girl? I said fuck the. There is my chicken. I should actually take it out so that you can see it better. <sighs> can you see that oh, delicious chicken, succulent, cheesy? All right. This is the way we like it. All right, fam. So yeah, let me finish cooking up. Let me show you my other recipe, that one that I got from Kuno. Oh, by the way, you know where you can find it. You can actually find it on their website, Kuno website. All right, guys. So yeah, that's been the situation with Rehu and these random dudes trying to, you know, trying their luck, pretty much. Like I said, there's nothing I can do about it, and I know it. You know, I've got a gorgeous wife. She's beautiful, even if I must say so myself. And I've yes, got the right to say it. So exactly. I've got the right to say it. So I don't blame them trying to mac on my woman. Uh, but yeah, guys, they must just limits, please do. When you see someone with a ring, can we just respect? Like, let's just respect. Uh, speaking of respect. So I had my own little scenario and situation happening a couple of times. One time. What? No, seriously. No, no, I, I'm for real, babe. <laughs> you look so shocked. Just like, she's looking at me so weird. No, seriously, like I had this mother come up to me um, and asking if I would be interested in her. Yes. Yeah, if I would be interested in her daughter, you know, um, she's a vendor woman. And uh, she was like, yeah, yes, and you could make the best Mkwenyana for me. And I've got this daughter of mine. And I'm like, yo, mama, so sweet and kind. I'm sorry, but I can't, you know. And I you told her, I'm married. You see that you have a stock on The ring. Like, I, like you said earlier, oh, some people just don't care about the ring. The ring, it's just the ring for some people. And then I get decoration and it's not. But I want to know. A for, a for a mother. No, but don't forget, Rico's mom also did the same thing. Why are you exposing my mother? Uh, oh, what do you mean I'm exposing mama? Exposing Hello, mama. mommy. I know you're watching this vlog. Hi. I love you. It's a shout out to you. Meswagat. But yeah, no. Rico's mom did it once upon a time. A couple of times, in fact. She introduced me the one time to her colleague. And she's like, yeah, give you Mkwenya na And it was sweet because I was like, yay, I got mommy in the bag. Woo, yes, I'm accepted in the family. And that was a nice moment. Yo, I can remember. Really? Yeah, babe. It was. But but the ones that I find really awkward is like when I'm like at the um, like recently now I was at what what shopping mall did we go to? I can't remember now. Yeah, but, yeah. but I went to the no 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 seriously, I went to the one store and I went to the um, to the change rooms and like always say seven out of ten it's always ladies or a lady to they, change rooms yeah at the change room and then all of a sudden this lady came up to me and you could see she was a bit too excited like hello brothers you know and i'm just asking how should i react to such from your perspective no, I mean, hold I'm, up, from my ways. Hold up, hold up, hold I'm a nice guy i'm a sweet guy and that's I, the I problem can, what? the problem that i find is that i think this is a bit too sweet Yet, now, if females or the woman or the wife have to go over and sweet talk a guy, or not sweet talk, but have a conversation, a normal conversation, it's a problem. Now, let a guy talk, or the husband or the boyfriend talk to the female or somebody else, it's okay. They can have a conversation. And then, let me do it. You'll be like, and then, what's going on? Imagine if you had seen that guy talk to me by the window and I was just having a no nice normal conversation. I think it was sad. I was going to go mad. Exactly. I was going to go mad. Exactly my point. I probably wouldn't though. I would be like, okay, what's going on? Because now I would think that maybe I'm not he's saying asking what direction. Don't be sweet. <laughs> but at the same time, there's always limits. Yeah. And that's why, fam, we need to understand, Hore, what are your boundaries in such situations? You know, yeah. what, do, what do you and your partner do when it comes to such situations yeah are you a sweet talker do you go along with the conversation or do you right immediately stop the conversation and be like nah fam you're not gonna talk to me so yeah hmm. what do other couples do out there sure all right yeah Rukho spoke she said what she needed to say but don't worry Rukho, nothing happened you know i always brush them off don't worry mm, look mm. A nice smile. I, it's i'm no longer look the same guy the like i used to be back in them days babe. i'm not that guy no more i'm, I'm a good boy do y'all believe him do y'all believe him i'm a good boy fam you guys know i'm i'm a good guy i'm a nice guy baby the pizza yeah yeah yes 
Stress. Yes. Papa Yach. Fem, my wife's mother. No. No! <laughs> she won't kiss me. Anyway, Fab, now I need to go get those plants outside. Um, it's getting it's getting dark now. Evening time. Supper, is it uh, ready? No. What time is supper to? Because I'm getting hungry. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Yes. Are you still trying to speak Zulu? Wangaz, yo fam, help your sister out. Yo, you, you guys. Wangaz. Wangaz. Yeah. Yes. Stop it. Stop it. Yo, Reho is struggling, fam. Shoo. Let me not butcher other people's language. Right. Reho's trying not to butcher anybody's language. Alright guys, like, Rako has been at it in the kitchen and now I'm ready I'm to eat. I'm tired, fam. Mm. I'm exhausted. Here's your Thank food. Thank you. Supper's ready, guys. Ooh, Rako did the works. Check this out, guys. Sure. Let me focus here for you guys to see my wife's cooking. Babe, but you have to explain what this is all on the plate. You have to explain. Babe, you just have to explain what's on the plate. Okay, so basically what's on the plate yeah. is the stuffed chicken. It's stuffed with um, spinach, cheddar, no, not cheddar. Not cheddar, yeah. Um, what is it? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay, so basically yeah. it's stuffed chicken, right? It's yeah. with uh, Let's focus spinach on it. There we go. as well as mm, yum, cheese, yum. like blue cheese, um feta cream cheese mm. and i forgot mm. that all cheese. the goodies i'll put the the things in the description yep i tried i attempted at making um soup butternut soup oh, which was a soup. fail yeah, it was a this, fail guys this right here is supposed to be soup and it wouldn't be on the plate yeah obviously. it wouldn't be obviously on the <laughs> plate be in a bowl, but. uh but it didn't work out so i'm gonna try it again uh, 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 but it does look like pork. It looks okay. I'm kidding. It's butternut. It's butternut. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it again, guys. <laughs> oh, and God, then the then. last thing is that oh, yeah. uh, veggie Let's lentil that. and veggie um, melody or medley. Yeah, medley. Medley. Yeah. Um, with everything nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No recipe that one. So yeah, let's dig in. I'm hungry, I'm tired, Ooh. my back hurts. I think I deserve a massage after this cooking. She deserves um, a whole lot more than just a massage. So we're done. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we'll see you on the next video or vlog. Oh if you haven't already subscribed, do the things. Do the right. Otherwise, thing. it's goodbye to you from us. Bye. Bye, fam. Bye.